Hey guys, it's Aubrey Morrell with Morrell Designs. And today I'm back with another kiln opening. Um, there's some fun stuff in here. And I got some butter dishes, um, some custom mugs, and I can't even remember what else. Um, so, um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna be doing a surprise announcement. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then we're just gonna get to it. <laughs> Um, the kiln is actually only 80 degrees. Uh, this is the first time in a while that I've been patient enough to wait <laughs> for it to get cooled off all the way. All right. So, um, for this, for these items, I did, I wanted to break out some of my dipping glazes. I have not been using them. Um, I have a bucket of copper float. Um, and you know, with the whole ancient copper, uh, being discontinued, I wanted to pull out the copper float and the last time I had used it, um, it turned brown for me and in the past it was really bright, vibrant copper. So I didn't know what was wrong with it. Maybe it just wasn't thick enough. So I tried it again on a butter dish and, um, I, uh, took some of the water out so that it would be a thicker dip. So we'll see. Um, and this is gonna be that. Um, this is the lid to my butter dish. And you can see it looks pretty good. I mean, the top looks brown, which I'm not in love with, but the side, it's got that copper. So let's, let's look at the base. It looks like, so when you, when I dipped it, uh, I dipped it, well, I poured on the inside, dumped it out, and then I dipped it in. Um, it looks like where it pulled around the rim is where it got copper, so I think I just need to take some more water out. Um, but it still looks really cool. And then it says butter. I just did satin matte black on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not unhappy with that. It's kind of nice, it's very rustic but I do love where it's just copper. So pretty. All right. This is just my white stoneware from Trinity Clay. Oh, and I do have, I bought some uh, half and half clay. It's Laguna half and half, uh, half porcelain, half stoneware. And I tried some of that. Um, it's not on, there's not any on this shelf, but the next one has some of that. Cause I don't like the yellow color that the stoneware gets. Um, so I wanted something more pure white. That clay was really hard to throw with. It had a lot of sand in it and my hands were just like dying by the end of it. So I'm going to try B-Mix next. Um, so on this butter dish, I just did satin patina and then I did satin matte black on the letters, but I think I didn't get all the patina wiped off good enough. So you can see. It still looks kind of teal on some of those, but you can still read it, so I'm, I don't hate it. But these are my butter dish. Isn't that cute? That'll look good in someone's kitchen. I kind of like how it's like this in some area that makes it look rustic, in my opinion. All right, love that. Another butter dish. So these are, that teal one I wiped off um, this bottom part of the lid so that I could fire it that way. But on the rest of these, I put a little still inside of it and then put it on a post so that I could glaze the whole thing. So, um, oh, okay. Um, so on this one, it was on a still, so the whole thing is glazed. So I just need to go in and touch up those little sharp spots inside of it. But this one looks kind of cool. Uh, I used sandstone on this one, three co no, two coats of sandstone. Um, and it looks neat. It's like winter wood, but it has more of a yellow hue to it, which matches the clay body better than the winter wood does. So I wanted to give that a shot. And then again, satin matte black on all, on all of these butter dishes, the letters are satin matte black. Very nice. Um, cone pack says five. Well, I got to a cone five, a little bit over a five. 
Okay. Okay. Last butter dish from this load. I do have two more, but I couldn't fit them in this firing. I also have a bunch of test tiles that I need to <clears throat> get glazed. Put my still over there. Okay, this one I dipped in my bucket of stone denim. And then again, just the black on the letters. I see where a piece, maybe I got wax on that or on accident or something. It's not going to hurt anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. But, um, yeah, that's weird. But that looks good. I probably could have gotten this a little bit thicker, too, because it's kind of dark. The more of the stone denim, the thicker it is, the more you'll get of these brighter blue colors like that. Just got to get the mixture right. And I couldn't because... Uh, <laughs> I asked my daughter to hand me the hydrometer and she broke it. <laughs> so I had to order a new one. So I just kind of had to guess on the specific gravity of them. Um, I did the knuckle test. So I stuck my finger in there and if I could still see the not lines on my knuckle and I was like, well, we'll go by that. <laughs> okay, now this one was a custom order. Um, I've made one of these before, but she wanted one. So I made another. Um, my Kraken mug. And this is two coats of Iron Luster and one full coat of oatmeal and then another coat to here of oatmeal. But then that look cool? Oh, I did do underglaze first and then wiped it back. The inside, all the drippy blueness. That looks really cool. And I didn't have to, this one didn't run off the pot like the other one did. I had to grind on the bottom of that, but this looks so good. I hear someone's about to come out here, so the child, I'm sure. Awesome. Okay, that is all from that shelf. My daughter Kayla is here now. Hello. Oh gosh. I'm sitting awkwardly. And my husband is calling. <laughs> we don't look at waiting in it. Okay, so I made three of these custom mugs. So I did, this is that new clay. I'm gonna have to sand some of that peel and wash off of there. To soften the bottom because they can still feel all that sand on there and I already sanded them when they were bisque so that stuff I just don't think I like it it's too gritty for me so uh, what I did is I took underglaze and I kind of did a marbling while it was on spinning on the wheel um, and then it's got stoneware clear over it um, and then the inside is purple crystal from Amico such a pretty purple and I did satin matte black on the handle. And then it's got um, satin matte white and black. And then satin matte black inside the, this part that says Burlington. But yeah. Not bad, not bad. There's three of those, so let's inspect them. Same, all the same things. Yeah, looks pretty cool, doesn't it? The lettering turned out really nice. Oh, oh, my thermocouple. Uh, just, yeah, just gotta stay on these bottoms. They're super pretty, but no big deal. Looks good. Awesome. Okay, um, this one was a custom order. Um, you wanna hand me that one? Yeah. So I was brought this cup here, it's broken, but they really loved the shape of it because it fit in their cup holder. Um, so they asked if I could recreate it and this is what I came up with. Uh, I didn't have the exact color, but I got close enough. This is satin matte yellow 
Um, but I mean, doesn't that look pretty close to you? Yeah, but it didn't have the ring. No, I didn't do the dark man. But it's a little bit shorter. But looks good. Yeah. Hopefully they'll like that. Okay, here, take that one for me. Can you go inside and see what they need? Because okay. they're calling me. Ouch. Okay, and then these, I'm sorry, I'm flaking kill and wash off. And I use the white, um, the half and half clay for these two, but I made four of these and I absolutely love them. They're little soup bowls and I added some handles to them. So these were dipped in my, um, let's see, I dipped it in my stone denim. Um, and then I put some light flux along the rim on the inside. I didn't want it to drip down the outside. I just kind of wanted something in the inside of it. But there are four of those in here. Oh, they look so cool. Love it. Okay. Oh, gosh. Awesome. That's number three. Gosh, that half and half is just so greedy yeah there's no way <laughs> i'm glad I, I love the color of it but it's like just rough don't be careful um so yeah we're gonna give b mix a try instead that would be good for like maybe some bakeware which i'm working on some bakeware i made a big no 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 okay um, I'm flaking the kiln wash off. So I made a really large baking dish. I've never made one before. I hand built it and it's still drying. I'm trying to dry it as slow as possible so that it doesn't crack because it is so large, but um, I'm excited for that. That'll be in the next glaze firing, hopefully. But yep, all four done the same way because I wanted to make them a set, but those look so cool. And they stack. <clears throat> Yay, I love them. Don't they look good? I don't know what to price those at, but we'll figure that out. Um, yeah, I just have a couple of butter dishes that I didn't fit in here. Uh, and then I got some test tiles because I wanted to do all my satin matte glazes on a test tile. And then I wanted to mix up some colors and make tiles for that too on white and um, red clay. Um, but that was the end of the opening. So now I get to tell you what my, uh, exciting news is. <laughs> exciting for me. Um, I'm going to lift the camera up and show you. So, uh, I'm in this Facebook group for one of our local towns and a lady had posted that she has a bunch of, um, molds, pottery molds, slip molds, um, behind their house that, they just needed someone to come and get. So a lot of them were junk and were not usable uh, just because they had been sitting out in the weather for so long. So yesterday I went and I dug through, I didn't even make it through a quarter of what was out there. Just, there was so much and I can go back anytime I want to get more, but um, I went through and I found some that might work. Here, go that way. So this is what I've got. Um, I did have to look through them just to see if they were broken or not. There were like a and spiders. Yeah, there were a lot of spiders and mosquitoes, but we suffered through. <laughs> so I do, I kind of know what they are, but I don't really know what they're going to look like. So we're going to have a series of mystery molds to put up. Um, next week I'll be picking up some of the slip to make those with, and I need to get some rubber bands because all of the rubber and straps that were on them were no good. So I'll have to get some of those and then we'll get to try that. And I'm excited to try it. I've never done it. Um, I'm not gonna give up wheel throwing because that's what I love and that's what I feel like I'm good at. But um, this is gonna be exciting and it'll be an adventure. So one last look. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are some, there's some cool stuff in there. So I'm excited to see what we get out of that. And uh, I'm gonna take you guys along on the ride with me. But um, until next time, guys, I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for watching till the end. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.